Welcome back Star Wars fans to episode 101 of Reynolds Reviews and on today's episode my vintage Star Wars vinyl carry case. Cue the match. Welcome back everyone. Now, like I said in the intro, today we're going to take a look at my vintage Star Wars action figure carry case. Now, I've got a real soft spot for carry cases when it comes to vintage Star Wars. Uh, I've got a couple of the vinyl ones. I have got two of the Darth Vader cases as well. Uh, so we're going to take a look at those today. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get to it. Wars mini action figure collector's case. Action figures sold separately. The collector's case holds 24 Star Wars action figures like Stormtrooper, R5D4, and Snaggletooth. It comes with two plastic trays to keep them in. Or you can turn the trays over and display all your figures in action poses. You can pack up Star Wars action figures and take them with you. The Star Wars mini action figure collector's case. Action figures each sold separately from Kenner. And there we go. So as you can see, I've got two of these uh, vinyl carry cases now they are both the same but i don't mind that i, I love them i really do like them a lot so I, I tend to pick them up if i see them at a good price even if i've got the same one already so these are the only two i've got but like i said when i saw the second one it was a good price and i just thought you know what i'm going to pick it up they are in varying conditions uh, but i really do have a soft spot for these vinyl carry cases uh things to look out for if you're looking to pick one up we'll just go across that before we look at the image so the main thing is this is a plastic slotting section here. This is actually an insert. So these often come away around the edges. And as you can see, that's just getting a bit tatty in that corner. So these come away around the edges. And sometimes that insert does get a little bit worn and weathered and a little bit wrinkled. Uh, mine are no exception. So look out for that. Uh, but the main things really are the press stud fastener just there at the top. They do tend to split and break and come away. So you often find them with that press stud missing so they don't actually secure and fasten and also where the handle goes into the into the vinyl these often split across so when you try to pick them up the handles pull out so again i mean mine are very lucky mine are in quite good condition on, on that side of things so look out if you're picking these up look out for the the press to make sure it present and it works and the handles at each end make sure they're not splitting across that seam there um, and of course again look out for the inserts as well but that is is often uh, a regular occurrence it's very difficult to get them pristine but um so yeah so look out for those uh, however like i said i do love them um there are various different versions which i'll put on the screen now uh we did get uh, obviously the star wars version that you can see we did get three different versions of, of the empire strikes back one is the exact same as the one you're looking at now just with the empire logo instead of star wars logo but the other two have different images uh, and then a jedi one which uh, i believe the jedi one is is the most rare and and quite clearly the most expensive one i've looked on ebay um but if you look at to pick one of these up say that you, you can get them if I'm honest, I would recommend you pick them up from the USA. I mean, I got lucky on, on eBay UK with mine. I got them for very, very good prices. But if you look on eBay now, there are a few kicking around in the UK, but they're very, very expensive. Sort of 100 to 200 pounds mark. They seem to be a lot cheaper if you pick them up in the USA. But obviously then you've got shipping to the UK, which can be expensive as well. But the prices do seem to be a lot more reasonable um, in America. However, let's take a look at the image. So again, amazing image on the front, as you can see. We've got that classic image of Han and Chewie there. Uh, we've got Vader and Ben in their classic duel. We've then got, is that Hammerhead and Greedo just very small underneath? Uh, then we've got the X-Wing being chased by the TIE Fighter. Huge image of Vader. Um, Luke and Leia swinging across the canyon while they're escaping from the Death Star. Uh, classic Star Wars logo with the Star Destroyer. Then we've got uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO, the Tusken Raider. Uh, Death Squad Commander or Death Star Commander, whichever your philosophical bend is, and then a couple of the Stormtroopers as well. But I just think these cases are absolutely beautiful. Uh, and if you can get a good example, they, they display it so well. Uh, and like I say, I, I really do hope I pick some more up in the future. I do have a soft spot for carry cases. Uh, I've got a couple of the Vader carry cases as well. Uh, again, another one that I'll probably pick up again if I find it cheap. Um, they also did a C-3PO version. I would like to pick one of those up. They did that. There was a vintage version, which was a very shiny gold 
very, very shiny gold version. And then they did a, a slightly more modern version, which weren't quite as shiny. If I'm honest, I would I would take the, the more modern one. Um, the original C3PO case is extremely expensive now. Um, but yeah, and then they did also, I think they, they did uh, the bandolier, the chewy bandolier, which really didn't appeal to me um, as a kid or as an adult collector. And then they also did a, uh, I think it was the blaster rifle, wasn't it? So, uh, but let's just take a look inside of these. So there we go now, I think that's going to fall over, but as you can see, these cases come with two trays inside. Now each tray holds 12 figures, is that right, 12 figures? Yeah. And if you can actually see, I don't know if you can see that, but if you just look at the top there, look, back in the day, now mine aren't complete unfortunately, but when you bought these, they would have originally come with um, a card insert which shows you some of the figures in the cases and they would have also come with a sticker name sheet so as you can see some of the old original ones are still stuck on most of them are missing as you can see at the bottom but some are still stuck on and you would stick them in the in the trays and obviously you would put the corresponding figure into the trays um what i will say is over time these trays do become quite brittle so again if you're picking one up look out for the condition of the trays i'm just gonna see if i can take this one out for you so I've been quite lucky, this one's in good condition, um, but they do tend to discolour and go really brittle. So they often break in the corners and the tray walls often break as well. So just look out for that. I mean, don't get me wrong, once the figures are in and it's in your case, you're not gonna see them. But if you want one in good condition, again, something to look out for. But I do love these cases, I really do. Let me just see if I can get that back in. Uh, and again, like I said, I, I do intend to pick these up um, whenever I see them at a good price. Um, but yeah, oh, that's going to fall, look. Let's lay that down. Um, but yeah, so it's just something that, again, I wanted to show. I suddenly, I looked around the base and realised that I'd not shown these yet. Um, and I just thought, I know... Um, Vintage Star Wars videos on the channel have been a bit of a premium at the moment. Uh, that's just because Vintage Star Wars prices are skyrocketing, you know. Obviously, the, the priority of this channel is always going to be Vintage Star Wars. Uh, that is without doubt my passion, my, my number one love. Uh, but obviously, Mask and Motu and Transformers have crept in just because they're readily available and far, far cheaper. Uh, but I promise you there will be more Vintage Star Wars coming, uh, let me assure you. So I thought I would show these today. Uh, but now we've shown the cases, let's see if we can get some figures in there. And there we go. So as you can see, I've put some figures in the tray now, just to give you an idea of what they look like. But obviously you can double them up. There is another tray in the bottom. So you can hold 24 figures in there. Uh, now I've not corresponded them up with the with the existing stickers, uh, just because some of the figures I would have to take off my original 12 um, display stand, and I don't really want to do that. Um, so as you can see, we've got Bib Fortuna in there. We've got the Hoth Rebel Soldier. We've got um, Hoth Luke, Bespin Luke, of course. Uh, we've got um, Hoth Han, uh, Admiral Akbar, we've got a Jawa, and before anyone asks, no, that is not an original vinyl cape, it just came with the Jawa when I bought it, and I thought, the seller was up front about it, and I just thought, I may as well have it. Uh, so it's just for display, that is not an original cape. Uh, we've got Ben, we've got FX7, we've got a lovely Minty Stormtrooper, we've got a Biker Scout or Scout Trooper, and then we've got Chief Chirper. So, is it Chief Chirper? I'm, I'm not great with my Ewoks, I'm sure that one's Chief Chirper. Um, so yeah, so just to give you an idea what they look like um, with the figures in the cases. Now, like I said, I, I love these vinyl cases. I do have a real soft spot for them. I'm hoping to pick some more up. I would definitely recommend them. If you don't already have them, I would definitely recommend them getting in your vintage Star Wars collection. They do display great, um, and hopefully I'll pick some more up in the future. Um, I don't expect to get the Return of the Jedi one. Very difficult to find and extremely expensive, but I'm hoping to pick up an Empire one going forward. So... Uh, so yeah, there you go. Like I said, look out for more vintage Star Wars. There will be some more coming, I promise you that. Um, but uh, like I said, just the prices are crazy at the moment, so I'm trying to pick it up as often as possible. So please bear with. But before I wrap up, what I do want to say is I just want to give everyone a huge, huge thank you for such an overwhelming response to last week's video. Uh, last week was my 100th video. It's actually 102. I think there's 102 episodes on the channel. This will be 103. But there was a couple of videos in there that I didn't really class as a proper episode. But the response I got from last week's um, episode was absolutely unbelievable. Some of the comments that I received on the video and some of the private messages that I also received were absolutely heartwarming. You know, some people, some of the things that 
um, people responded with to, to the video is just absolutely um, unbelievable. You know, the amount of support I get from people, the friends I've made and the people I've met is something that I never, ever, ever expected to happen when I started this channel. Um, from where I was 18 months ago to where I am now, it's quite staggering when I think about it and just um, quite mind boggling really. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody because the response I got to last week's video, um, especially because it involved Connor and Rachel and Joe, um, was just exceptional. You know, I couldn't have asked for any more. So thank you everybody uh, who responded to that video. Uh, but there, there we go. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're new to the channel, uh, thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing. Uh, and if you're one of my existing viewers and existing subscribers, thank you for sticking with me, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Uh, leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Uh, I always reply to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. I'll see you next time.